your Windows 10 PC is about to be left behind <gasps> forever. Aww. That's no joke, it's really happening. And on October 14th, 2025, Microsoft is going to pull the plug on Windows 10 faster than the IRS can yank your return when you owe them money. No more updates, no more patches. The most obvious solution, upgrade to Windows 11. But my computer isn't Windows 11 compatible. Well, there's a solution and believe it or not, it's easier than you think. And I'm here to tell you all about it. But before I begin, if you just want to skip straight to the details, simply jump to the section labeled Download Tool. Over the past 10 years or so, there's been significant changes in the computing industry that's been designed to help protect you and your data. While these advancements have made everything more secure, they don't take into account older machines that don't have these capabilities. That's where the problems start. You see, Microsoft, in their infinite wisdom, made it mandatory that computers running Windows 11 support these technologies, which of course is why you're here. Yeah, I get it. That sucks. Now, there's a few ways to get around those requirements, some more complicated than others. But there's a new tool that's simple, easy to use, and best of all, it even checks your CPU before you start to make sure it'll work. I do want to make one thing very clear though, this goes directly against Microsoft's own recommendations. The entire reason Microsoft requires certain hardware components is to protect you, your data, and Windows from the various malicious things that exists out there. Now, I'm not recommending or telling you that you should run Windows on unsupported hardware, but I also understand that for some, either you don't want to or are unable to upgrade and want to try to stay as up to date as much as possible. If that's the case, then you're in the right place. The first thing, though, we're going to want to do before you do anything is to make sure your data is all backed up. It's never a bad idea to make sure you have a good backup just in case because you never need it until, well, you know that you actually do. Let's get started. First, let's make sure you have enough free disk space. The typical upgrade usually needs about 75 gigs of free space on your Windows drive, so make sure you have at least that much space available. Next, bring up your favorite web browser. We're going to be downloading a tool called Flyby11. This is a free and open source project that's constantly being maintained by its developers as Microsoft keeps making changes to Windows 11. Go to the website at the following link. I'll leave it in the description for you as well. Once the page loads, on the right hand side, look for the section called Releases. Click on Flyby 11 3.0. That's the latest release as of July 2025. This should take you to the Releases page. Scroll down until you see the section called Assets. Once there, click on the flyby11 underscore latest dot zip file. This should download it to your computer. One quick thing to note before I go on, more than 90% of you aren't currently subscribed to the channel. If you find this helpful, go ahead and click on those like and subscribe buttons. It really helps others find this content and helps the channel more than you know. Now back to the good stuff. Next, you need to go to where you downloaded the file and extract the contents. To do this, right click on it and select Extract All. Make sure you put it someplace you're going to remember and click on Extract. Once that's done, browse the contents and look for the flyby11.exe file. Double click on it to run it. You should get the message that Windows protected your PC. This is because the developer is constantly updating the tool and the Windows Defender smart screen doesn't recognize it as safe. And let's be honest, maybe Microsoft has something to do with that, but we'll never know. Click on the More Info that's underlined. When you do, it'll display more information on the program and developer. It should list the app as flyby11.exe and the publisher as Unknown Publisher. Since we downloaded this directly from the author's project site, we know that it's safe to continue. Go ahead and click on Run Anyway. Now, here's something built into the tool that I haven't seen in any other, and one of the reasons why I like this the best so far. 
it actually checks your hardware to see if your CPU has the components required to run the latest version of Windows 11, namely support for POP CNT and SSE 4.2. As long as both boxes have a check mark in them, you should be good to continue. Go ahead and click on the Start Upgrade Now. Next should be the Select ISO screen. You'll need to provide the Windows 11 ISO image for the tool to use. It doesn't include it. But it does make it simple for you to get it. You'll notice on the right hand side there's a drop down menu labeled Select a Download Source. This is going to give you three different options to download the file. Microsoft Site, Download via Fido, recommended, and the Media Creation Tool, Beginner Friendly. All three of these are fairly self-explanatory. You simply need to follow the prompts for whichever you choose. You just need to make sure you select the correct language for the version of Windows you currently have installed on your machine. If you're unsure of what language your machine is currently installed with, I'll leave the commands on how to check that in a pinned comment for you below. I could go into detail on how to perform all three download options, but that would make this video quite a bit longer. So if you have an issue, please let me know in the comments or join my Discord server and I can help you from there. The link to join is in the description. It's free and you can ask me any questions you may have and I can respond to you directly. Now back in the Flyby 11 Upgrading Assistant, you need to add the ISO file by clicking on the More Options menu and choosing Select from Computer. This will bring up a window for you to browse to the ISO file you downloaded, select it, and click on Open. You should see the message mounting the ISO. You should get another User Account Control window. Click on Yes to continue. There should be a message that Windows 11 installation can now proceed. Please follow the instructions in the setup window and the Windows setup upgrade will start. The message will get covered up by the upgrade so you might miss it. Now you might notice that the window says Windows Server. Don't worry, you're not installing Windows Server. It's just part of the whole bypass process. Go ahead and click on Next. Setup will check for updates and then continue to the applicable notices and license terms. As before, click on Accept to continue. Next should be the Choose What to Keep page. The top option of Keep File Settings and Apps should be selected. Make sure it is and click on Next. The setup should perform one more check, get additional updates if required, check that there's enough space for the upgrade and bring up the Ready to Install page. This is the point of no return. Double check the version listed is correct and that it says it's going to keep files, settings, and apps. Once you're sure the settings are correct, go ahead and click on install. Now you simply need to wait. The install will reboot your machine a number of times, possibly download additional files and updates, install them, and eventually will bring you back to your login or desktop. And that's it. Congratulations! You've successfully upgraded your Windows 10 machine to Windows 11 on unsupported hardware by using Flyby 11, the simplest method out there. But don't stop there. Just because you're now on Windows 11 doesn't mean that Microsoft's done with you just yet. There's still all sorts of ads, telemetry, and data collection that you might want to turn off to maintain your privacy, not to mention your own sanity. So be sure to check out my videos on how to disable the ads and telemetry in Windows 11. I'll leave the links in the description for you. And that'll be it for now, my friends. And remember, stay patched, stay backed up, and of course, stay grumpy.